Hello, beautiful people, and welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you an easy everyday makeup look, not using any makeup brushes. All we're using today is a beauty blender, one applicator to blend all of your makeup, and that is all you're going to need. It's a perfect routine for people that one, don't like to fuss with brushes, two, are beginners and are just getting into things. If you're looking to simplify your makeup routine even more, or you just are on the go and you don't have the capacity to take a ton of brushes with you and you wanna do something quick but still look good, this video is especially for you. Let's get this started. So first things first, your skincare base. I've already applied my skincare base. A really good skincare base is gonna make sure that your skin is hydrated and protected. One thing that I wish I knew when I started doing makeup is that I needed to take care of my skin before I put on makeup. If you're taking care of your skin, it adds a layer of protection. All the makeup is not going straight and directly into your pores and your skin. You have at least a layer protecting it. If you wanna learn more about what a good skincare base entails, I will leave a couple videos for you to check out. We're set, we're done. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the makeup part. I don't always use a primer, but I've been obsessed with this this summer. This is the YSC Beauty Skin Glow SPF 30 primer. Just watch when I put it on. It's gonna do one pump of this. Clearly you don't need a brush, just need your fingers and it has like a little tint I don't know if you can see that kind of similar to the say star glow um, I can't remember what it's called dewy star glow something I really like that stuff a lot but this is nice because it has SPF 30 in it so adding on to my skincare base with more sun protection always a good idea and look at the glow that this gives you <sighs> instantly like that's why I've been obsessed with it lately. Next is foundation. I feel like foundation today, just it feels right. Some days it doesn't feel right, but today it feels right. This technically isn't a foundation. It's actually just like a pre-foundation product. I use it as like a foundation. That's how I like to use it. I feel like it has enough coverage for me. I understand if you like your foundation to have a lot more coverage, this is not it. But if you like that really light feel, but you just want a little something, something, this is your go-to. Because we're not using a brush, I'm going to apply this a little differently than what I usually do. So we're going to go ahead and just apply dots almost all over the face. Because like I said, we're not using a brush to blend and we're just using our beauty blender, you wanna make sure you're not working too hard against yourself. This way, you've got the product all over the face. Now we're gonna take that beauty blender. Make sure it's damp. A damp beauty blender is the correct way to do it. Not so sopping wet, just nice and damp and cool. If you're not close to water and you can't like get it damp, refuse the urge to like put it in your mouth because that's not good. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> That was a bad joke. <laughs> a really good tip is to actually take some setting spray and damp your beauty blender that way. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab this until it's all blended. Light dabbing motions, working the product into the skin and going all over the face. I even go around areas that I didn't necessarily put the makeup on, but just to give it a nice overall blended out look. And there you have it. Next, we're gonna tame these brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. I don't have very fluffy brows to begin with, but man, oh man, this makes them look so nice. Benefit has some really good stuff. Thank you guys for recommending them. This stuff is like brilliant, I love it. You can take off points for me if you count these little applicators as makeup brushes. It's impossible to do your eyebrows without eyebrow applicator, but that's just me. Staying with Benefit, I'm gonna use their Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color five, and we're just gonna lightly fill in these brows. I really like this pencil. I think it gives a really good look, and I've been loving just all of their products lately. It just, it's a vibe. It's definitely giving Anastasia a run for its money, for sure. I find that when I put the wax, the brow wax on, on first, it gives like the makeup something to stick to a little bit more. So I really enjoy that. And I feel like it also gives a very good natural look to the brows as well. I can spend all day filling in my brows because we're working with, you know, what we're working with. For the final thing, I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow in 4.5 to just add some like gel and color. I really like how this looks because it's like, slightly tinted the pigment is really really good and it doesn't um i feel like it doesn't over color i feel like it looks super natural and light and it's a gel so it like helps the 
hairs to stay up. If you have just a little bit more hair than I do, you could use one of these products and be completely fine and not have to use the three. Now we're gonna go in with concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color 35N Medium. I've been needing a little bit more help lately. We're nine months pregnant, I'm feeling it, and I feel like I look a lot more tired, so this helps really whew, pick me up, watch. I'm gonna do um, more dotting than I usually do, because usually like, I apply it differently, but because we're just using a beauty blender, I'm gonna help myself out a little bit. Kinda go the old school way of how I used to apply concealers. I'm gonna go under the brow really lightly because I don't have like a brush to define this, but because I kinda already dabbed a little bit of the makeup, this is working for me. We'll define it a little bit more with the beauty blender as much as we can. I can use this brush applicator to kind of define the brows a little bit more. Oh, not like this. It's okay. Let's define this line over here. Let's do here and here. Again, I'm using this same beauty blender. Don't worry about the colors mixing from the foundation to the concealer. You're totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and blend and I'm kind of like squeezing the applicator so that I can really get into the eye corner. And the same dabbing motions that I used for the foundation I'm using the concealer. This concealer, if you decide to use it, you have to go quick because it dries very fast. So you just wanna be quick with it. Again, with that same dabbing motion, you wanna apply some pressure. You don't want it to be like super light to where you're, you, you, it takes you a lot longer. Apply pressure, don't be scared. Blend it into the skin. Did my little mess up here, but that's okay. This beauty blender is a little bit smaller than the normal beauty blenders. I will, of course, link it below for you guys, but I do want to mention that it is a little bit smaller. Some of the beauty blenders you'll find at the stores are a bit bigger. Um, I find that this works perfect for my face shape because I have a little smaller of a face, and I just love to be able to use it for dual purposes like I'm doing now. Underneath the brow, I find that other regular beauty blenders are a little bit too big for this area, and this is perfect for travel because it's small, and I love that. Now to make sure everything is more even, I'm going to go ahead and continue to blend, blend, blend as much as I can. When in doubt, blend it out. That's what I always say, especially if you're new to makeup. Like, if you just blend, you won't look crazy. Now we're going to move on to contouring. I have to contour my face. I just love it. I love how it defines my natural face shape. I love how it gives me a little bit more depth. I also use it for shadow as well, eyeshadow. We're going to use the Milk Makeup <laughs> my favorite. This is the matte bronzer stick and it is a cream bronzer. I usually am against cream bronzers. I don't like how they apply, but this one is really nice and light. If you're gonna buy any kind of bronzer, stick bronzer, go for this first, try it out, you will love it. Apply the bronzer to my normal areas that I like to define and play with the shadows because that's what bronzing and contouring is all about. Take that trusty beauty blender once again. Oh wait, 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 before I do that. And I'm also going to take that bronzer and I'm actually going to put it up against my eyes like this for a little bit of eyeshadow. Take that beauty blender again and we're going to blend it out. Watch how nicely this blends. So beautiful. I'm kind of squeezing again the beauty blender to shape it so that I can get a really nice defined line here. Upward motions here so that it blends out really evenly. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that eye makeup look. And I am purposefully going upward like this to draw the eyes up. Any areas that I feel like look a little bit heavy, I'm going to go over the, with the Beauty Blender again and again until it doesn't look heavy anymore. Now let's go to blush. This is one of my favorite cream blushes. This is from Merit in the color Beverly Hills. I think it's just such a stunning color. I love the application. I take a couple swipes because it's super light, a little bit on the nose. I've been using nothing but cream products for this look. Could you use powder? Yes, but I find this is the easiest way, especially if you're just dealing with one applicator. Blend that out with the Beauty Blender, and look at how beautiful that looks. You don't even have to blend it out too much. Now we're gonna go in with some highlight. I'm gonna use the YSC Beauty Vacation Glow Highlighter Stick. Put that over here, over here, on the bridge. I like to also apply that over there and I'm gonna also put it in the corner here and above Cupid's bow. 
take that beauty blender once again and takes out any appearance of any kind of harsh lines. And overall just gives you a nice pretty dewy look. I love it. Now for mascara. L'Oreal Telescopic is my ultimate favorite. Just gonna apply that mascara on there like it's no big deal. Again, I guess you could take off points because I'm not using my beauty blender to apply my mascara, but I don't know, I couldn't do it. Let's go for the bottom. Let's exaggerate that bottom look. And a second coat for good measure. Eye makeup, set, done. Let's go to the last step, which is lips. I'm gonna use the Say Lip Blur in the color Dada. I just really like this watch. It's really pretty. I like to dab it. It's very light and it blends really, really nicely. I feel like it gives such a good natural look, especially if you don't like to wear lipstick. And there you have it, an entire everyday easy makeup look only using a beauty blender to blend all of your makeup. I've timed myself doing this makeup look and it literally only takes me six minutes long total. Six minutes, that's it, especially because I'm not going through my makeup and looking for brushes. Like super quick, super easy, and done. If you are looking for this type of ease, you have to try this makeup look out. I really enjoy it. I think it looks really pretty. Definitely an everyday look. All the makeup that I use in this video will be linked in the description box below under makeup links. It will take you to my LTK shop, which makes it really easy for you to be able to purchase the item. I'll also make sure to include dupes in those links so that if maybe some of these makeup items are out of your budget, there's gonna be an alternative. That is all that I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. I'm so happy to have you and appreciate that you watched this video thank you again and i look forward to seeing you in the next video oh sorry that was attractive i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye